and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and today we are talking about the top 10 scary mirror urban legends. Now throughout history and culture mirrors have constantly baffled and intrigued humans. It's like we can't get over the fact that we can see ourselves but it isn't us. Like when animals see themselves in mirrors and they're like mm hmm? Anyway this mysticism has led to some pretty interesting legends surrounding mirrors over the years. Behold! Although not before I ask you if you think mirrors are magic because I want to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments section down below and as ever while you're down there why don't you leave a thumbs up and share this video with a friend. If you're not yet subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10, do it, do it now! Also do stick around to the end of the video where I will be answering some comments from a previous one. Alright let's get into this. Coming in at number 10 we have the whole 7 years bad luck saga. This is the most popular mirror urban legend with an enduring superstition across a whole plethora of cultures. It seems a lot of people in the world think that breaking a mirror will bring you 7 years of bad luck. This legend seems to date back to the ancient Roman times when they believed that souls regenerated every 7 years. The initial bad luck the mirror breakage caused will eventually be gone in that time. In some cultures the size of the shards will directly reflect your misery. For example if the mirror breaks into lots of tiny little pieces then your bad luck will be small, but if it breaks into big pieces it will be catastrophic. There are ways to remedy the bad luck though. In Hindu culture the mirror should be wrapped in black cloth and buried under a tree. Other cultures say it has to be left exactly as it is for 7 hours then you immediately clean up. Others say you must touch a piece of the mirror to a tombstone. Creepy. Whatever you do, don't do this up next. Coming in at number 9 we have looking into broken mirrors. Even if you aren't the one to break a mirror, you should never look into a broken mirror. In many cultures it is thought that even so much as looking into a shard of a broken mirror will fracture your soul. In Hindu culture for example it is believed that mirrors have the power to seize the part of your soul. If you look into a broken one, parts of your soul could be taken and a soul really should be a thing that's kept whole. Coming into number 8 we have dreaming of mirrors. There are many legends as to what dreaming of mirrors means. Whilst dreaming of a whole mirror can be indicative of self reflection, it seems that in many cultures, especially in Hindu culture, dreaming Dreaming of a broken mirror can be an omen that your partner or close family member will die, which is really horrible. I feel like I've inadvertently talked a lot about Hindi culture in this video, so now feels like a really good time to suggest that you guys watch Most Amazing Hindi if you can understand the language. It's our Hindi language channel and we've got loads of great hosts and loads of great stories, so do it! There's also subtitles for English people, and also I feel like you maybe will learn a few Hindi phrases if you just watch it anyway. Osmosis. It's a thing! Coming into number 7 we have mirrors, a window to parallel universes. Mirrors have always fascinated people, your own reflection staring back at you but backwards like what is this magical trick? This has led a whole load of people out there to imagine mirror worlds where things are like ours but subtly different. Parallelism isn't such a wild theory these days. It seems that even Professor Stephen Hawking, one of the greatest minds of the 20th and 21st century was working on a multiverse theory before he died, although whether or not windows are key to that seems pretty doubtful. Nonetheless there are some occult games that you can play to try and access the multiverse through mirrors. For example there is one called Tunnel, now this does appear on our cursed games you shouldn't playlist. In the game of Tunnel you're supposed to set up two big mirrors facing one another and stand in the middle. You stand looking in the mirror and count how many frames you can see over your shoulder in your reflection, so reflection, 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 mirror, mirror, mirror. Sounds like a weird rap song. Reflection, mirror, mirror, I would be a terrible rapper. Anyway, back on track. Basically, this is probably enough to send you mad and case in point. Anyway, you're supposed to be able to look out for movement in the frames as the many yous reflected thought to reflect yous from other dimensions. Still with me? It's all a bit mind bending, but basically, so it goes, one of the versions of you may bring something bad from their dimension to yours and, and you know what? In every world in which you exist, you probably aren't always good, so it's probably better just to leave the whole mirror parallel universe thing alone. Coming into number 6, never sleep with mirrors. In China it is believed that sleeping with a mirror facing the bed is very bad luck. It's basically the laws of feng shui. The theory is twofold. Some believe that if you're married it can bring a third party into the bed, which basically means your husband or wife will cheat on you. Others say that having a mirror near the bed could encourage your soul to escape in the night and get trapped, unable to return in the morning. To be honest with you, neither of them sound great so I guess I'll be leaving mirrors to like the opposite side of the room where you can't see the bed. 
Good. Ah, coming into number five, we have vampires. This is a popular legend and folklore story. You all know that mirrors can be used to spot vampires, right? Vampires don't have reflections, apparently. Worried there's a bloodsucker in town? Just Get your mirror out and see. Mirrors may have been used to spot a real vampire in 2017 when CCTV footage from a shop in Savannah, Georgia went viral. The footage was being scoured for signs of a shoplifter when detectives noticed something strange. Here, have a watch. Okay, I gotta get somebody's phone. Of course. I know, he's gonna freak out. Wait, I don't have any. Okay. Okay, the first guy walks by the mirror. Reflection. Second guy. Wait, I know. What? I know. How is that? I don't know. Um, obvious vampire. Somebody call Buffy. Coming in at number four, we have Cover the Mirrors. Legend has it that when Abraham Lincoln's body was lying in state in the East Room of the White House, all of the mirrors and windows and all reflective surfaces were draped with black cloths. Covering mirrors during mourning periods is an old Dutch tradition that made its way to the UK and America. It seems that in old German and Belgian and Dutch traditions, mirrors were covered because if a person saw their own reflection in a household in which someone had recently died, it would be a surefire sign that they would be the next to pass. Similarly, in England and Scotland, mirrors would be turned to face the wall. In China, this often happens too, but for a different reason. They think that if a mirror is uncovered, a soul could be tempted into it as they pass. It would leave them to haunt the mirror forever, rather than making their onward journey into the afterlife. In Judaism, covering mirrors is a big part of Shiva, a seven day mourning period. This is because when a soul leaves the world, they can leave a void, which can become a magnet for bad spirits, which occupy mirrors. Scary. Building on from that, at number three, we have the dead man's mirror. A lot of superstitions and legends involving mirrors also have a lot to do with dead or unconscious beings. I guess this lends further evidence that we see our reflection as supernatural and otherworldly. So the legend has it that you should never look into the mirror of a person who is recently deceased, at least not until they've been buried in the ground or cremated anyway. Doing this will basically mean that you will be shortly following them. Not ideal. A quick fire one up next, a simple yet enduring legend, coming into number two we have If A Mirror Falls. So legend has it, if a mirror falls in your home of its own accord and breaks, it's an omen that someone in that household will die soon. If it doesn't break though, that is a whole different ball game. It actually means good fortune will enter your life. Finally coming into number one, we have the most popular mirror urban legend of them all. We have the legend of Bloody Mary. So far in this list, we have heard a lot of story evidence that people think there's a link between the spirit world and mirrors. Well, further to that, a lot of people believe that you can actually summon spirits using a mirror. Some legends say that if you light a candle by a mirror at night, you will reveal the spirits surrounding you in the reflection. But there is a much more sinister urban legend surrounding summoning spirits. This is where we talk about Bloody Mary. So, to summon Bloody Mary, you're simply supposed to chant her name into a mirror. Back in old, old, old folklore, the ritual was used to show a woman a glimpse of their future husband's face. Although, if they saw the Grim Reaper or Skull instead, it would mean that they would likely die before they got the chance to marry. Cheery. In modern times, the legend goes that if you summon Bloody Mary, she will scratch out your eyes, steal your soul, and drink your blood. Which again, cheery. In Japan, they have a similar witchy mirror urban legend called Hanako San. So guys, that was the top 10 scary mirror urban legends. I'm filming this in a room on my own and there's a mirror opposite me and I don't want to look into it because actually, I'm a little bit freaked out. Let me know if you're a little bit freaked out in the comments section down below and what can we do to stop ourselves freaking out? I guess don't believe so heavily in urban legends. <laughs> okay, so before I go, I'm just gonna read some comments from the scary North Korean mysteries video. Azariah Dowdle said, yes, it's Rebecca and yay, more North Korea stuff, hip hip hooray. Me and North Korea, one video. We don't share much in common other than most amazing top 10. Enchiladas Enchiladas said, 15 years for stealing a sign. Yeah, I know it's crazy, isn't it? Like North Korea, that's North Korea for you. But Enchiladas Enchiladas is a great name and you've made me really hungry. Mohammed Ash here said, who has been here since two million? Me. I was here, obviously and I'll be here at five million. So on and so forth. Let me know when you signed up to Most Amazing Top 10. Makes it sound like a cult. It's not, although actually these videos don't make it seem any less culty. Anyway, I've gone mad. It's all the mirrors. I need to get out of here and just like have a little lie down. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and don't look in any mirrors because I'm freaked out. See you soon. Thank you, bye.